Hi guys, hope everybody is doing <coughs> really, really well today. Um, this is a junk what's acquired, what's been in my, um, what do you call it? <coughs> been in my drawer building up. So it's going to be a tool haul. Very, very, very cool indeed. Um, so there's some interesting items amongst this lot of junk. So let's get into it. I'll tell you what I paid for everything apart from one item which you can guess the price. Um, so the first item is this pipe wrench I saw on British eBay, and I was convinced it was a backhoe. He said, the guy said it's unmarked, but I convinced, because the picture was quite blurry and from a distance, that it would have backhoe somewhere on it. But it doesn't, but it's an absolute spit of a backhoe. So I'm a bit confused because it, it just looks like a backhoe. Quite an early flat bar backhoe wrench. So I'm not sure what's, why maybe it's an unmarked one from the factory or an off brand not sure but i paid about 14 pounds for that um because i thought it was a backhoe but what i would say is it's quite early and it's in absolutely fantastic condition i don't know if you can see the jaws rather rather nice if you can, i don't know if you can see the jaws really sharp um sharp jaws so it's almost nos so kind of cool i think it's a backhoe because it just looks a spit but not too sure this one is really cool this is a garrington uh, the grebe now i do have another one of these um let me have a look um here we go um which is a press plated garrington and um, which um i did a deal with my mate jim um <coughs> a grebe um, and I did have one of these, but it's it, I swapped it with a friend, with my friend Leslie, um, who I do swaps with and buy t tools off. But I managed to get another one. So I've got basically both sides. I've got the press plated one and the original cast version of the same sort of... Uh, this, is, this says here, if you look, it says pattern applied for, because this is the early version. And this one just says British made. Um, oh, it's this pattern applied for there as well. I'm not sure now, but it's on different sides of the wrench. But anyway, yeah, very, very cool. So um, I paid, I think I paid for this about £86, including the shipping. Needs a good clean and a de-rust, a wire wheel and a bit of paste wax, which I shall certainly give it. Um, so lovely, lovely wrench that. We've got here a little 100 um squirrel plane obviously they get the name from the um tile stock of it um these are originally made by stanley but this is an off-brand version i paid 27 pounds for that including the shipping it was I bought that quite a long time ago but i just like the shape of it um i wish it if it was stanley and said rules and levels it probably 70 to 100 pounds but it's like a poor man's version but still looks nice um we've got here a um, German, I believe it's a German um, double-headed wrench. Somebody used sellotape to just basically just tape it and sellotape and post it. So if you can see that it's got all the tape on it, I need to get all that off. It should ha have something on the bottom what screws on like a multi-tool. So it's a part wrench really, which is a shame. I didn't realize that when I bid on it, but I paid, I think £11.40 for that. Um, the next one was a job lot. There was a few more amongst here, but I've sent them. There was a few more of these sort of King Dick type wrenches, which I've given away. But basically, um, there's an Abingdon here, which is an early back, an early King Dick. And then there's this one here with a tail on the end, also rather cool. But the reason I bought the whole job lot was just for this one. It was £18. But I just wanted this little one because I've not seen one with a little square on the back of it. So I thought that was rather cool. So it was £18 for about eight or nine of them. But I've already given away four or five before I could even make the video. But yeah, really cool. <clears throat> the next job lot was this job lot here, which only come very recently. There was only really two items I thought I was actually mildly interested in. Um, this is a, a Nash Rathbone from Rathbone Manor Special. This is a King, uh, this is a footprint, early footprint style. Looks like it's got a broad arrow and I think it says, 
38 there, so I think it's 1938 broad arrow um, from the 30s. We've got um, a, a Wilcox, Pexto and Wilcox USA, um, adjustable rent, Pexto. Um, that's a six inch, so I'm, I'm guessing that's going to go um, to Jim um, in his six inch collection, if I, if I was a betting man. Um, we've got a Westcott eight inch, um, which in my next video I'll be mentioning Westcott. So this will go in my collection. I don't currently have a Westcott, so pleased with that. We've got here a um, Bell Rock early 1890s um, um, uh, adjustable wrench with obviously you adjust it one side and you adjust it the other. Appears to have a little crack on the corner, but a very rare wrench, and you can see the original, um, what do you call it, the original um, plating um, on it. But very rare, rare wrench, and that's the reason I bid on the whole lot. We've got here um, a Talmo, which is basically um, the same as a King Dick. Um, here we've got an Echo, which is an Abingdon Echo King Dick. And this is a Talmo. Tell me what the difference is. So I'm guessing it's just a different off-brand version of the same wrench. So we've got a Talmo. And then we've got here um, a generic sort of adjustable uh, wrench. Nothing special. So I think the Talmo is a little bit interesting. The footprint's not bad. Um, the Westcott's not bad. But it was actually quite a cheap lot. I think it was 22 or £23 pounds for the whole lot, including the shipping. Um, and I think that one's worth that all day long. So that's the reason why I bought it for that one. So nice, nice um, collection of tools there. Um, and now we get on to the guess the price. Uh, we've been through some of the more generic items. Now, this is a funny story behind it. This was a job lot with um, lots of cool stuff in it. It had um, a U-boat spanner and it had loads of cool wrenches in the in the lot but i already had them all but i didn't have this one which is an automatic so i said to my buddy jim i will um you pay so much for the ones you want and anything above it i will pay so it's a part lot and it's only one wrench this is a pattern um it says on it and i just like the mechanism the way it works with the teeth very very cool i've never seen one before kind of interesting design very pitted but very rare never seen one before and this is an automatic an early english wrench so that is the guess the price how much do you think i paid um for the minus on the lot for this automatic wrench very very cool love this wrench thank you jim for helping me buy it and um and all the rest of it with mr gigson um so yeah very very cool lot of junk there um, some interesting items amongst this lot. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.